Welcome everyone from the UAV community. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure EasyServe and post-process UAV files, including how to configure EasyServe for your area, how to post-process your flight trajectory, how to interpolate the accurate position for each camera event based on your UAV specifications, and how to view your results in EasyViewer. Let's start with step one, how to configure EasyServe for your area. Start EasyServe and close the current post-processing project with File, Close. Now that no project is open, you are ready to modify the default setting with the Edit Default, Process Parameters, you can set Cutoff Parameters. If you are looking for mean sea level heights, select a Geoid model for your area. If you do not select a Geoid, EasyServe will output ellipsoid heights. It is also important to select your antenna model to obtain accurate heights. You can select your antenna from the NGS calibrated antenna models or create your own. On the UAV, the antenna is usually measured at the antenna reference point. Therefore, the radius and measurement offset should be zero. Under the Tool menu, you can configure the mapping system for coordinate display and position output. With Tools, Options, Combinations, you can set a maximum distance to search for a base station. With the General tab, you can configure the displayed units. Now, let's go on with step 2, how to post-process your flight trajectory. Once EasyServe is configured, launch the application or a new post-processing project and import your base file. Simply drag and drop your file into the Observation folder. It does not have to be a Rhinex file, as EasyServe reads most receiver-native files. If you do not import a base file, EasyServe will search the web for the nearest base station. Make sure the file is imported as a static. Otherwise, right-click on the file and modify its status. You need to enter the base antenna height, in other words, the tripod height, using the Edit Site Occupation tab. Select your base file, right-click on it, then select Use as a reference and input its position. In this example, the local base was not located on a known point, so you would not want to use it as a reference because you would want to post-process it using the nearest scores. To launch post-processing of the local base, click on the on pause key. When the processing is complete, a summary with basic information will appear. You can close the summary. Now that the local base is post-processed, it can be set to Use as Reference. As you can see, the position displayed was updated with the results of post-processing. You also will want to delete the core station if you do not want it to be used for post-processing your flight data, and rather use your local base. From this point on, you want to import your UAV roving file. Remember, if you did not import a base, EasyServe will search the web for the nearest one. If the rover file loads as a static file, simply right-click on it to modify its status. If you have multiple flights that cover the job site, so multiple rover files, you can import all your roving files at this time to perform batch post-processing. 
Obviously, if you have multiple flights that cover an area, you need a base file that also covers all your flights. To launch post-processing, click on the Unpause key. When the processing is complete, a summary with basic information will appear. You can close the summary and save your post-processing project. With your rover file in the input folder, a pause file is available containing all the GPS points of the flight. This file was updated with post-processed position when you saved your project. It's now time to go on with step 3, how to interpolate the accurate position for each camera event based on your UAV specifications. To interpolate a position for each camera event, meaning each photo, launch the Events Interpolator under the Tool menu. You can interpolate events for a single flight or Interpolate events in batch mode if you have post-processed multiple flights. The user interface is almost similar for single or multiple flights. For multiple flights, so multiple events file, you need to select the root folder where each flight folder is located. Each flight folder must include at least the events file and the photos of the flight. With a single Evans file, you need to select the Evans file of the flight. In this example, I post-processed a single flight. Therefore, I will select the Evans file for that flight. With the General tab, if your Evans file format is not a DJI MRK file, Select the custom format and specify the extension of your events file. Then you will have to configure the event file format. Set the delimiter used in your events file and specify any header lines at the beginning of the file. Click on Next. Select the event time column and specify the time format. Save your configuration. Configure Evans file format does not apply if you have a DJI MRK Evans file. Depending on how the receiver is connected to the camera, a short delay between the time recorded in the events file and the time at which the photo was taken may apply. A delay however short, will impact the photo position. The delay or latency entered will be applied to the time column in the events file prior to interpolating a position for each event. If your image processing software directly reads the position in the pictures JPEG file, check update position within pictures. You may also check Create a tag file to view events position in Easy Viewer. The Antenna Offset tab allows you to enter the offset between the camera center and the GPS antenna. Entering the offset enables the interpolation of each picture's position at camera center. If you use a DJI MRK Evans file, the antenna offsets are available in the MRK file. Therefore, the antenna offset tab will be grayed out. You will have nothing to enter under the offset tab. The output tab enables you to output all pictures position to a file. You may not need to output the interpolated position to a file if your image processing software directly reads the GPS position in the geotag pictures in the JPEG EXIF. If you need the picture positions to be outputted to a file, predefined file formats are available. The CSV format allows the user to select the CSV fields as required. Fields can also be sorted 
to better match the input file order requested by your image processing software. Once the configuration is complete, save it under a profile name in order to reuse it for future interpolations. The next time you will use the events interpolator with data from this specific UAV, you can simply select the profile and click OK to launch the interpolation. Once you launch an interpolation, you may be asked, depending on the requested output, to select a picture folder. Make sure the number of pictures in the folder matches the number of events in your events file. Now last but not least, step 4. How to view your results in EasyViewer. Once the interpolation is complete, a short report is provided. You may click on OK to close the report. In this case, let's open EasyViewer. EasyViewer enables the import of the flight data that is, the pause file saved after post-processing. You can display the post-processed position according to their accuracy. Moreover, you can import your interpolated events, that is, the tag file that was created. In a glimpse, you will get a good overview of your job quality. We hope this tutorial was helpful. If you need more help to use Unpause software, watch our videos, visit our knowledge base, or email us as per coordinates below. It will be a pleasure to help you.